Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Lee, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to convert between different units. As a warm up, uh, I'm, going to start, I'm going to start with a few questions. So, who knows how many inches are in a foot? Shoot it. 12. 12, good job. And Noah, do you know how many seconds are in a minute? 60. Nice, 60. So, our first lesson is you can multiply anything by one, it'll, and it'll still equal one. So, when I say anything by one, we all learn in elementary school, right, that a fraction, in a fraction, if the number on top is the same as the number on bottom, it equals one. So some examples are two over two, 40 over 40, 629 over 629. So knowing this, four times one should equal four because it's the same exact number and it doesn't remain changed. So four times one just turns into four. You can literally just rewrite and copy this. 300 times one is, truth? 300. Nice. And 1,340,799 is, no. 1,340,799. Nice, nice, nice. It's a big number. But as you guys see, it's just the same number, but you move it down, right? The same goes for units. So if two things are equivalent, I can put them one over the other. As you guys know in a ruler, one foot is equal to 12 inches. There are 12 inches in a ruler, right? So you can put them in a fraction, 12 inches over a foot, or conversely, you can write one foot over 12 inches. And these two things will equal one. And we'll see how we can use this in a, we'll see how we can utilize this. So that means when converting between units, the only tricky thing to do is to find out what equals what. So for example, Tria, how many days are in a week? Seven. Seven, good. Uh, if that feeds into our sample. How many hours are in a week? We'll start off with Tria's one week equals, you said seven days? Mm -hmm. Seven days. And while we go through this, we have to remember two things. Are the units ordered properly, and do they cancel? So, units ordered properly. Remember how I said up here before that you can write 12 in, you can write twelve inches in one foot with the 12 inches on top, or the one foot on top, right? So you gotta remember, which one do we wanna put? And um, keep track of this, and at the end I'll explain. So Michael, how many, let's go one unit below days. How many hours are in a day? Um, 24. 24 hours in a day. And Noah? How many, oh, sorry, that's where we have, that's where we stop. So now, all we have to do is multiply and cancel our units. So we cancel one week, one week, and days, and days. And that, as you guys can see, since one week, the unit week, it's on top and it's also on bottom, which means we can just cancel it. The unit days, what, there's one on top and there's one on the bottom, so we can cancel the days. We're just left with hours, we have nothing to cancel it with. So now we multiply one times seven times 24. And who knows what that is? Yes, Reed. 168. 168. Honestly, I'm gonna take your word for it. But as you guys can see, that's all it is to convert from a week to hours. And now we'll learn a chant. Here's our phrase. All right, guys, follow my hand motions, remember? Ready? Does it equal one, then order, Cancel. I'm done. That's it. Everyone say it with me. Does, Does it, it equal, equal one, then order, cancel, cancel and done. done. That's all it is. And let's think about it a little bit. We have another sample problem. How many inches are in two miles? So over here, let's start with two miles. Who knows what one unit mile down from one unit from mile down is? From one mile down. Feet. Feet. All right. Do you happen to know how many uh, feet are in a mile? Five thousand. Uh huh. Two hundred and eighty. Nice, nice. Five, two, eight toes. Right. The does it equal one? It does. Then order. So we got to put it in the right order. So we got to put. Well, there's one mile on top. We got to have a mile on the bottom. So we have one mile, and then we have five, two, eight, zero feet. Right. And how many inches are in a foot? We learned it. 12. Oh, good. So since there's already a feet on the top, we got to order and then cancel to equal one. Guys, say it with me. Say it with me. Does it equal one, one then, then order, order cancel, cancel, I'm done. done. It's ordered well, so it cancels well. And all we got to multiply, we got to multiply these three numbers together, which honestly, I don't remember what they are. Um, so we get our answer. And of course, the units are going to be in inches. So it's this amount of inches. And that's how you convert between units. Any questions? Perfect. Class dismissed.